My name is Jacob Warren. Welcome to this lesson on harp harmonics for the double bass. If you haven't yet watched my video introduction to the harp harmonic technique, I'll link to that video over here. In today's video, I'd like to show you a few of the ways that I use harp harmonics in my music making. This list is not a complete list of what's possible with harp harmonics. I'm learning new things from amazing musicians every day about how they use them. Uh, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you a few of the ways that I like to use them. One of the main ways that I use harp harmonics is to add an upper extension to a bass note. So if I'm playing a jazz tune or if I'm playing a slow fiddle tune and I want to lay down a G chord, I might pitch that low G note. And then using harp harmonics, I'll have a couple of options, given whatever tuning I'm in, to color that note with some upper extensions. Since my tuning is A, E, B, E, I actually have a couple of harmonics available to me that would sound really nice in the context of a G chord. So if I take a look at my middle E string here, I'll have my third partial as a B. So if I play that low G note and then color it with the B, it can be a really nice way of supporting harmonically uh, the person who's playing melody at the time, especially if I'm in a duo context and we're missing a chordal instrument. It sounds something like this. Now you can take this even further and kind of play little melodies that ring over a bass note. So let's say I wanted to color this G chord even further, I could do something like this. So there I'm using the root G, and then I'm playing an A harmonic on my open A string. I'm playing the third uh, as the third partial of my E string, and I'm playing the third partial of my B string, giving me that major seven. So I've basically got a, a major seven uh, nine over that G note. This technique of coloring a root note with some harmonics above uh, is something that I'll use quite often, not only to just color a chord, but also to maybe set up a bit of an accompanimental figure uh, to provide some more harmonic information for whoever I'm playing with. There's a really good example of this on one of my recent records with Grant Flick, our duo Warren and Flick. Uh, there's this tune we do called Before the Sunset, where I use these harp harmonics to set up a sustained rhythmic figure that accompanies the melody. On its own, that accompaniment sounds like this. And in the context of the piece, it works like this. I think this idea of playing a root note and coloring it with harp harmonics above is a really interesting way of using them because it's great for accompaniment, but it's also a way that you can play things and accompany yourself. You can play a melody in harp harmonics while also laying down some root notes and get a lot of that separation of register uh, that can make for a really pleasing sound. Another way that I use harp harmonics is as a tool to play melodies in completely harmonics. So when we were talking about adding a root note and then coloring it above, sometimes you don't have natural harmonics available on your bass that fit into the tonality you're looking for. To provide myself more options harmonically, I'll actually sometimes capo the string with my left hand, and that'll change the string length, which will also change the harmonics that are available. So if we look at my E string here, the middle string, normally I wouldn't have an F natural available anywhere on this bass. But if I actually put down an F natural, in the low position, I've now created effectively a shorter string that's an F string, which means if I find that second partial that divides the string in half and pluck with my right hand, I'll actually have a harp harmonic now that is an F natural harmonic. So there's the original, 
move down a little bit, and you get F natural. I find this technique actually quite tricky as you're having to manage where you're placing your left hand, but also where you're placing your harmonic nodes. Because as you shorten the string length, all of the nodes are moving to a different location. So I find that I tend to stick towards playing the second partials as they're a little bit easier to track. Those would be the octave harmonics. So I can actually play a scale in just harmonics. Let's say I wanted to play an F major scale in harmonics by just playing second partials while fingering it with my left hand. That would sound like this. Another thing that I think is cool about using these capoed harmonics is that I can actually add vibrato to a harmonic like this. Which is something that isn't quite as easy on a natural harmonic. This technique can actually be used to play melodies as well, uh, and you can combine it with natural harmonics to create a really cool ring over effect. So here's a bit of Josephine's Waltz. One of the other ways that I like to use harp harmonics is using both of my hands so that I can play different rhythms and melodies at the same time, almost mimicking a piano. I've written a couple of pieces of music using this style of harp harmonics, and if you're interested in trying to play them for yourself, I have sheet music available on my website for those. I'm planning on doing a video that goes much more into depth about this style of using harp harmonics, but for today I just want to show you the basics of how it works. One of the ways that I like to practice this style of playing harp harmonics is by using polyrhythms where I'll put one rhythm in one hand, one rhythm in the other, and then I'll just choose a cycle of pitches, natural harmonics, in each hand that I'm going to follow, and I try and let those phase independently until they loop back around. So for example, if I were to take a polyrhythm like 4 against 3, and I would decide that I would have the 4 in my right hand and the 3 in my left hand. Then I would just decide a cycle of harmonics that I'll play in each of those hands. So for my right hand, I'm going to play F sharp, B, and E. And then for my left hand, I'm going to play E, B, A, E, A. And you can make these more challenging by putting numbers of notes in each hand that don't correspond to whatever rhythm they're playing. So for example, my right hand is playing four, and I put a three note melody in that hand, and my left hand is playing three notes, and I put a five note melody in that hand. So now I'm going to let both of my hands cycle until I find the point where they line up again, where I'm playing this F sharp and E at the same time, since that's gonna be my starting two pitches together. So that one is obviously a complicated and very lengthy cycle, uh, but you can practice just starting with a more basic polyrhythm and a more basic cycle, like two against three, something more along the lines of this. Well, there are three examples of ways in which I use harp harmonics in my music. It's not an exhaustive list, and there are other cool ways that other people are using these harmonics as well. So I hope you continue to explore uh, and experiment with how they fit into your playing. I also recently launched a Patreon page where you can support me in making more of these videos. If that's something you'd be interested in doing, please check out the link in the description below. There's lots of fun stuff over there, and we are planning on doing monthly workshops where we get together on Zoom to talk about bass, anything you're interested in. So thanks so much, and uh, stay tuned for more.